Hey there, since this is a very quick review and I don't want to interrupt it later. If after watching you want to check this Neger conditioner out, the link and the disclaimer is in the description down below. And now please enjoy your video. Hi, today I want to show you this Coolify 3 Neger conditioner by Toras. And I was looking for some good solution for my brother. He always works outside and that's why I got this extreme cooling fan. So let me quickly show it to you. So first, that's even outside of the box, we have this kind of sleeve and it states all the details. Then when you open the box, you see this nice hard shell for the cooling fan and this case has some string that can serve as a handle and is also zipped and nicely cushioned inside so it's definitely premium. Then of course you get the neg air conditioner itself which I'm gonna come back to it shortly but additionally you have the USB charging wire plus some instructions and other documents. Now this extreme neck cooling fan looks really nice actually. It is good quality too. It is in this kind of U leather shape if you will and it's also pretty flexible so not only it is easy to put it on but it can also fit many different sizes individuals so my wife tried it on and it fit very well then even I let my son try it and my son is a teenager and pretty skinny so as you could see it fit loosely on him and then even I tried it and I have very thick neck and it works nicely for me as well. So the size of the individual is definitely not a problem. Now this neck air conditioner has two different kinds of vents. First up of the logo you have the front facing vent and same the mesh vents on the sides. That's actually to cool down the unit itself. However, then you have the multiple vents to cool the neck and the head if you will, as well as some vents blowing on your back. And then you also have the charging port. By the way, when fully charged, this neck air conditioner on low speed can last for up to 13 hours. And even if you put it to the coldest settings, with all the fans blowing and etc., it could still last for up to two hours, which I think is pretty incredible. And by the way, when you plug it in, you will see this clear and nice charging indicator. Now there is two ways you can control it. So on the actual device, you have the power button and then the button to control the cooler. And you can switch between the modes and then increase the power with the power button. So you can go to level one, two and three, whether it is the cooling mode, which then will activate all the fans and the air is gonna come out from all the vents. You can also switch it to heating. And then again, you have three different heat levels. The only difference on the heat mode is though, that in the heat mode, although you can set it to low heat mode, medium or high, so all the sides will heat up. However, the fan won't blow any air at that time. Or just switch it to this green function, which is pretty much just natural air. So at that time, the device is not really producing cold air. However, it's still blowing nice amount of air, except for the ambient air temperature that is actually outside. Now, even better way is actually to control it through the app. So after installing the app, you have much more more advanced features. So sure, you can switch the entire unit. So it will produce cool air or heat in all three spots, or you can even separate them. So for example, if you want the back air to be very strong, but then on the sides of the neck, you want just lower air, let's say in the cool mode, so you can do that. Or if you want really totally different experience, you can, for example, switch the back to the heat and then on the sides of the neck to the cool air or natural and cool and etc. And of course, you can increase and decrease the speed on these spots as well. So I would say using the app is definitely the way to go. And whatever changes you make, you will have this nice LED lights on the cooler itself, basically showing you the changes you're making. And of course, you can see it on the app too. So overall, I think this is a really nice cooling fan. All of us, when we tried it, we felt really good cold air coming from it. It definitely makes huge difference, especially in these hot days. And being able to use the heat as well in the winter is definitely a plus too. So I can't even wait to give it to my brother. And even though there are cheaper neck coolers up there, but for the quality and how sophisticated this cooler is, I think the price is still good too. So thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see some other of my quick reviews, click one of these videos on the screen and maybe I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.